gonna start this by saying this thing is actually so fun to use it's a really really cool lumion yes guys in this video i will be looking to cover how to use what's good what's bad about it how to use this lumion right here yes guys we all know it as Since this is my first PvP in a while guys, if you do enjoy this content, do hit the like button. It lets me know should I make more, and subscribe if you do enjoy my content. Now I've plugged my channel, let's just kind of get into what this thing's actually about. So if I push this button here, poof! Right, so here's the beta stats. Um, as you can see, you know, a small fart could knock this whole thing out with 50 health. It's absolutely pathetic. Uh, melee attack is 14, you know... That's probably not even the strength of a small fort. Um, range attack 130, so we want to base this all around on range attack, let's be honest. Um, speed's 92, which is actually a pretty decent speed tier. It like puts you above things like Calvantic, uh, Blotox, th that sort of kind of range as well, which is pretty cool. Um, Energy is really decent, um, and then kind of melee defense and range defense aren't the best, or I would call that below average, to be honest with you. Um, so with the abilities it gets, it gets applied frustration, which means if it gets a stat dropped, it'll increase stats. It's too fair for that. Um, clutch is basically sturdy, so if they hit you, you'll survive on one HP. It's the only real way that I can see this going. And Vicious is a really cool ability, but it's not for now. Um, basically, it is if like if you have if you're poisoned, you'll do 50% extra damage. But we don't have like toxic orb in this game, so let, let's just move on. Um, the effectivenesses of the effectivenesses, the effectivenesses. This is this is. I can nearly speak. Okay, so here's the the chart. So um, we're weak against plant, electric, and toxic. Uh, things to watch out for using this is like jolt um, priority. Electric just will absolutely ruin you. Plant isn't so bad because we've got decent coverage against. I I'm actually do have decent coverage against electric. Toxic is a bit of a pain in this instance. Um, we do kind of get shut down quite easily. Um, we resist fire, water, ice, metal, and we're pretty normal across the board otherwise. So it, it looks pretty decent to be honest with you. So yeah, um, let me show you the two ways that you can run it because on its move pool, its move pool is extremely, extremely limited, guys. Um, so let me just kind of take you into this. So smart nimble is the way forward with this um if people are saying run very smart i would tell you to go look at the the speed ranks there's too many things that can creep you that cause you too much of a threat around the, that kind of between an 80 and 90 mark um like i said like all halvantic and offensive blow toxic like those things would just blow you out of the water um you, you definitely don't want to do that um you you want to outspeed them no matter what um and obviously very frail because we're never going to use our melee attack ever um so clutch is always going to be the ability we're going to run the move set's pretty standard right so feral blast is obviously going to give us that coverage against you know your plant types shell sharp shrapnel shrapnel i can nearly talk <laughs> shell shrapnel um is pretty amazing to be honest with you 110 base hit move uh boom bash is pretty cool as well for coverage um the thing is here peace of mind for me I've been using this set with uh, Wave Shell. You can run Water Essence as well um, on on this set that I'd recommend um, because with the peace of mind, it kind of goes hand in hand. Um, I've been getting damage off and I'm kind of thinking about when to hit my peace of mind. Um, so it is pretty cool. These three stay no matter what. Okay, There is the option that you can actually put Accelerate on this instead of peace of mind, which is increases your speed stat by two clutch comes in but actually changing your item to rage full plushie um so i'll try and show you the the two of them in battle on what to do but so far i've been using this one i've actually been enjoying it the rage full plushie the only thing that i will say is anyone who i've spoke to about using pronsu has been running that set so it has become very predictable um within the game at the moment um tps um full speed full range attack a 68 energy allows us basically to get off about five moves to be honest with you and the rest is just bundled in the health just because probably actually for no reason at all um because it's so frail <laughs> to be honest with you um but yeah 
this is this is how we're gonna run it. Um, let's see how we get on. Now let's see what Pronto is all about. If we can hopefully get a decent battle to go up against the, the bro didn't even bring seven minions. Um, great, yeah, fantastic, love it, top class. No, this is gonna be an absolute belter of a battle. Um, clearly sarcastic. Right, what we're gonna do is I'm going to he's gonna lead off a academic. Um. Okay, right, we'll bring you in. Bring you. We'll bring. Yeah, we'll bring you. We'll bring you. And finally, we will bring you. Simple as that. All right. Um. Expecting some. Oh, there's a Himber lead. Wow. Okay. We're gonna lead with that. Okay. Straight away, I'm gonna get my icicle traps up. Um. Hopefully he gets his up, or he just hits me would be even better. Ice hammer, perfect. Okay, so we've got our traps up. He hits me. Toxic spines activate. What? Did didn't activate? Why did they not activate? Because ice hammer along with earthquake do not actually um come into it in terms of they don't actually work. They're not contact moves, so they do not break your spine. Uh, I'm praying for a nice hammer here, by the way. Um, of course, he hits earthquake because that's the way it goes. <clears throat> um, great. Um, I'm going for the board and press, just using Archer's kind of best move. Um, if you don't know, board and press actually hits water for super effective as well, um, which is pretty, pretty tasty. Um, hitting him on his melee side, he's fine to take Archer's down. I've no. No real worries about it. So Arceus goes down, um, and then Hember still lives, which is actually a really, really good time to bring in Pronsu. Um, now that we've got something that we can go up against pretty easy, um, I don't want to actually use my Shell Shrapnel yet on him. Boomba should be enough to take him down. I'm protecting my clutch plushie. Um, he could have quick punched me and broke my clutch, but the fact that he brought six limions tells me he probably doesn't know about clutch. Um, there's a Tyrex. Um, wow, look at this. So what I'm going to do now is, number one, um, I outspeed. Number two, I hit super effective um, with two of my moves. So we're going to go for a shell shrapnel. Bear in mind, my shell shrapnel has a wave shell on top of it so shell on the shell that's just like the turtle's girlfriend's called michelle um boom okay so pronsu is doing its thing very very good showcase yes very tight match i know i know um so that's two down we've got himber down we have got tyrex down um gobbledemic comes in now gobbledemic is a pure poison type um and it outspeeds me. It can break my clutch. It's probably a decent answer in this scenario. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to Yellow Phage. Um, expecting to hypnotize. Just I, I'm just expecting it. So I've got obviously immunized. Oh my god, it's a hypnotize. I used to hypnotize. How did I know? It's because he brought six lumens. That's high. Right. Um, we're going to Thunder Strike here. Um, because we removed this earth type. Not only that, the the fact we've got Replicate immunized me, which means that he can't put me to sleep, which is funny. Um, it is actually quite funny. Um, Mock Blast, done nothing. Okay, Thunder Strike. Um, so I'll leave him with what? It's Revenine, Trumbull, or Luminami. He's not putting Luminami into a Thunder Strike, is he? No, he's sending Revenine in. Um, the partially melt the ice uh, which is pretty cool uh, with thunder strike here which is fine um, I'm going to he should outspeed me I would like to think he outspeeds me but I can take a hit on I'm flashing flea out he doesn't outspeed me but instead I just kill him um, which is fine because his TPs are probably trained really well um, so what I'll do then is I bring in prawn soon out as much as he has Gobbledemic here, um, I've still got my clutch. Although he could hit Hypnotize. That could be a wee bit awkward. I want kind of just to kind of clean up with Pronsu here now in this example. So 
this has still been pretty decent to kind of show you what Prawn Suit is actually capable of without having a 15 minute sweat battle. Um, okay, so perfect example. Okay, Luminami comes in. Um, obviously here, what we want to do is we want to have peace of mind. He could pivot out, which would probably be a really, really clever play and then go into Gobademic, outspeed me and kill me. But he doesn't because he brought six Lumions to battle. Um, but he crits me. Um, I'm plus one just for damage. Um, we're going to obviously go to Feral Blast then. Just to hit him as hard as we can here. Um, not expecting to kill him, but put him under a bit of pressure. And then it just kind of leads something to tidy up with. But Prawn Sui, obviously, with the range of its moves it has against the, the other Typhons, it, it's been pretty decent, to be fair. Um, didn't really get to use my clutch plushie there much in this battle, but hey, it is what it is. Um, we just go into Yellow Phage and we win the battle, and simple as that. Um, so Thunderstrike then. And obviously we copy Awakening, which is good. And we'll take him down. Now, I'm going to try, after this battle, I'm going to swap it on to the other version. I'm going to put on the Rageful Plushie, and I'm going to swap out Peace of Mind for um, Accelerate. And we're going to see how that can actually work out. With the set that I have, obviously, you, you probably want a better standard player um, to go against. But, you know, the, the same principles kind of apply of, of how it works, which is pretty cool. So, guys, that wraps up the first battle. Been pretty cool. Moves came in handy, done its job. That's what Prawns is all about. Okay, time to use the Rageful Plushy Accelerate set. Um, the question is, it's really just about timing with this one, to be honest with you, to, to make sure we can do it. His team is a bit sweaty, so it, we should have a decent battle on our hands. What does he lead off with? Um, probably this. Um, I guess we'll lead Pronsu. He doesn't really have much to kind of trigger off it. Um, okay. Um, what am I doing here? Oh yeah, I need to pick a team. Um, I'll bring you, you, uh, your tab and I guess you. I'm just looking at his team here, and I know it's just got Driving Force and Bafflers and everything, okay? So, right now, okay, he could hit Driving Force. If I had Accelerate, he could hit Driving Force, and he gets rid of me. He could be trying to put Barbs down. If I hit Shell shrap Shrapnel, then that's great. Do you know what? The whole point of set is meant to hit Accelerate, him to trigger a Rageful. And then for me to go on to potentially win. He's not going to hit any sort of rageful with Gargolem. What does he go into? Setamars. Okay. Setamars could go on and Thunder Chomp me. Which would be ideal. Because then the rageful plushie kicks in. Okay. That is kind of ideal scenario here. The issue that we have with Pronsu is... Hoping somebody actually triggers the rageful. Um, so what Setamar is going to do here? Earthquake. He misses. Do you know what? You deserve that. You absolutely deserve missing that. Just for pushing the wrong thing. Everyone knows hit Thunder Chomp against a water type. Even an earthquake. Even if that earthquake did hit. What are you expecting to gain from it? That is probably... One of the most stupidest moves I've ever seen in my life. Um, it's just bad decision making. I'm sorry. It is. Really bad decision making. And if you're watching, please make sure you subscribe, like, and you're my best friend. <laughs> um, only joking, Redstone. Um, right. Glissadia comes in. Um, this thing can deep freeze me. It can hit me for super effective, which would ideally trigger my rageful plushie i'm going to outspeed anyway so i've got boom bash here which from a coverage move point of view i'm actually doing a good bit of damage nearly take it down draco beam doesn't really trigger i oh, kind of wish it did ha hit deep freezer um okay we survived brilliant okay we do outspeed this i don't think it i don't believe it does have 
any sort of kind of um, priority move? Uh, I'm pretty sure it doesn't. Okay, so let me just say so. Setamars, Glycidia, and he also has Gargotum. If he had your snack, he probably would have swapped it in there, expecting a boom bash. I'd be extremely surprised. He has your snack. He has your snack. He could have had free entry, and he could have shadow sprint on me. Um, do you know what? I'm gonna hit shell shrapnel. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send in Do Um, I'm gonna keep Pronto back for Gargolem. Shadow Sprint. At least he hit the right move. Um, okay, there's the Spine Break. Okay, so we've got the Barbs down, which will do us nicely. Um, at this point, I just want to kind of break his tank. Um, I feel that we should just... I'm just going to hit Baneful. I would love to hit a Poison. Okay, he baffles me. I am, like, stupidly slow anyway. Um, the question is, what does he actually go into? Um, Gargolem. Okay, so he wants to remove those barbs, I'm guessing. Um, which he hits landslide for. Do I bring Tatab in here? Or do you bring... Hmm, do you know what? I'm going to put traps up because I know I'm slow. I'm not slower. How am I not slower? Because he has driving force, which is negative priority. But here, he puts spines down anyway for me, so... Happy days. Who did you send out? Tata. I'll take it. I'm happy with that. Um, Timber Thrash from here. Um, kind of covers just in case he brings your snack in as well. Um, which would be pretty decent. I've also got Prawn Suit back as well. If I need to, just for that Gargolem. Uh, Eruptodon comes in. Eruptodon's not going to get an attack. I'm Boots. So I should be hitting him twice. Before he even gets a chance, if he lives this. Um, yep. So hit him for half. And then the poison kicks in. This could be touch or go. He might survive if he stays with the erupted on in. Um, I don't think it will probably be took down. Actually, he might survive now because his, his base stats are actually going to swap. Come to think of it. Which is absolutely fine. Which means I can bring Prawn soon. As long as he hasn't hit Accelerate, I'll be okay. Like, Soul Burst up to Dawn's scary. It is, it is absolutely scary. Um, okay, let's go. Should be... Yep, we're in range. Beautiful. I thought he might have just crept in there, to be honest with you. Because um, I'm not sitting on a calculator going... <laughs> um, okay, your snack comes in and is poisoned. Into the icicle traps, he's got tank up. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go back into Doku Mori. Um, we want them to hit me and get some more bar slap down. Beautiful. I just want to break his tank, that's kind of my plan here, and also the poisons there as well. Okay, um, at this point, we're going to go for Bainfall just in case he goes into um. Gargolem, because if I hit if I hit Earthquake, um, Gargolem comes in and only takes damage from the Icicle Traps for the Bainfall. The problem he really has is if he hits Driving Force, then he's probably going to bring in something that's going to pressure him a wee bit. Okay, so he brings in Barbs, which is probably a good play to be honest with you. Um, for the Bainfall again. And the thing with the barbs is what that's now done is it's actually just remove Pronsu from the battle. Um, because if I go into Pronsu now, Pronsu's kind of dead because of those barbs. Um, the only thing I can do though is I can go into Erupted on and I can try to pressure him here and then I can hit Landslide. I can't hit landslide against Gargolem. I can hit landslide against um I can hit landslide against your snack. 
so at this point, I'm just going to go for the fire breath. And we'll bring it in. Here we go. Soul Burst erupted on at your service. Beautiful. Guys, as always, if you've hung about, if you haven't already, do hit the like button if you want to see more PvP. Let me know in the comment section as well if it is something you want me to do or you want me to do more showcases like this. Uh, it's completely down to yourself. Okay. Fire Breath. Okay, Driving Force, which I expected. Prontsy's dead. Okay, which allows me just to go back into my dear mate. Erupted on. And we're going to Fire Breath again. It's his his team in theory, like, and this this is the thing, you know. Whenever you look at it, when you've got something like your snack, and you've got something like um, Gargolum, the the problem that you have is your team can easily become very very passive. Um, you know, it can easily just and it, it really lacks pace. Um, whereas what he's really counting on is he's really counting on his baffles. He's really hoping that his baffles are gonna gonna do its job um, each and every time. To be honest with you, um, so it's like you got Setamars, which has no, it has no legs. Your snack has no legs, and Gargolem defense can you, you lose your speed there as well. He's also hitting driving force, which is negative six priority, which is going last. So he's not really giving himself a, a decent chance to do anything worthwhile. I need to dark surge here twice, just for energy, just to see the pressure. I've like I've, I've loads. Well, I say loads. I've got fireglyph in the back, but. Shadow Sprint exists from your snack. It won't take me down in one, but could potentially take me down in two. Uh, Gargonum's let rest in. Dark Surge. Let's go. Beautiful. Okay. There's another one down. And another one down. Another one down. Another one bats the dust. Do, 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 do. Another one bits of dust. Poison, I'm just going to break the tank, which I will hit mudslide for. Uh, means we'll also remove them barbs, which is handy. Okay, he's got a milkshake. This milkshake brings all the bars to the odd. Okay, that done absolutely nothing. I, I, I think I can comfortably just get a weight in here, and he doesn't beat me, which is a nice one. Heartbreak. Okay. I'm break, break, break my heart. Right, let's go. Fire breath should be game. Oh my god, he hung on. He hung on. He's breaking hearts here. He's breaking hearts. Oh my god. There we go. Poison takes him down. I was going to say, it's going to be a flail win. Um, and there you go, guys. There's the two sets. Let me know what you think in the comment section, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.